with that. Uh, Vince was a great, great friend of ours, and I just am so happy you're on the scene because uh, you're filling a void that I was really missing. Oh, thank you. I mean, he was such a huge inspiration. I got to meet him once at yep. uh, SHOT Show, which is an industry show in Vegas for all the latest weapons and gear and, and that sort of thing that I always made a point to go to if I wasn't deployed, just to see what the private sector was doing, anything that we could possibly get that would give us a little bit of an advantage downrange in Iraq and Afghanistan. And he was there signing books. Yeah. And I think it was 2000, I want to say eight or nine, something like that. Yeah. But I waited till the end and now people do this to me, but I waited until the very end and then went up to talk to him and he could not have been kinder. Um, I knew I wanted to be an author at that point, but I didn't mention that at all. I just thanked him for writing these books and told him how much I love them. And it was the end of the show. So for people who have been there, it takes like, if you're at the back of that show, it can take like 45 minutes to walk out of that thing. Cause there's so many people there. Right. And we got to walk out together. So I got to spend 30, 40, 45 minutes with him walking. And I remember the one question I asked him, I said, uh, I've asked him a lot, but uh, the one that stands out is I asked him, do you ever wake up in the morning and think that you're going to open the paper and see that the events that you wrote about in term limits have come true? That essentially that someone used term limits as a blueprint. And he told me every day. Oh, boy. Yeah, wow. what, an, what an amazing guy. And actually I have right here, this is the first one I read. I read this on the way to Afghanistan. So yeah. I read this in uh, 2003. So I was a couple of years late uh, to find Vince Lynn. But then of course I've read all of them. And now I've collected them all in signed first edition hardcovers. Oh, wonderful. Uh, this is the one that he did before getting to Simon and Schuster. Yep. This is yep. the one, that early one right here with, with uh, someone named Jason Lewis from AM 1500. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we don't know. <laughs> I have no well, idea who that is. Political so, thriller. We've right never there. heard of him. Never. Yeah. And then, I didn't even know he could read. <laughs> yeah. And then this is the one after he gets to Simon and yeah. Schuster. Yeah. This is the next one right here. So, um, yeah, what an amazing guy. And um, I can tell you this on, the, on those ten minutes that you walked out with him, it was all sincere. That's he, not. Yeah, he wasn't. He full, wasn't full Jack, long. what you have to learn to do now is to drop names because no one could drop <laughs> yeah. a name better than vince even if it was the the king of jordan he'd say yeah we had a little wine and a cigar and <laughs> and it didn't sound bad it came off all right jack when you wake up in the morning are you fearing what you write is coming true well 